Cowboy fans finally got the one take they've been waiting on. We acquired Dontari Poe via free agency, so of course I got to give you the obligatory um, film session here, right? So 340 some odd pounds, I remember when he first came out of Memphis. He was he was truly the first I'm big as hell at the combine, but my 40 time is ridiculous guy, right? Like he ran like a 487, but it was officially a 498. Regardless, that's that's pretty fantastic for uh, for his size, for you know 350 pounds. And my big quarrels with these one Text is I don't want a guy that can't move. So if I had to pick a one tech, I would rather pick the guy that runs the the four nine eight forty. Or at least that, that's what he was when he was in his prime. He's twenty nine years old. He's a Debbie cake away from thirty years old. You know what I mean? So he, he's not going to be four nine guy anymore. But at least he's not five seven forty time dude. You see what I mean? Let's get into some film, though, man. Um. So this first play, I want to show y'all. I like my first plays to kind of be a synopsis of the player. You know what I mean? And um, just some some little nuanced information that we can get from him. He's the one tech right here. He's gonna play majority one tech. Sometimes Carolina put him in the three, like if it was a formation shift or something like that. A weird personnel package. They'll have him playing three, and he was solid there. But I think in Dallas, he's going to play one tech for us. Okay. Let's talk about this play a little bit. I got a little bit to say. I got a little bit to say about this play. So um, double teams don't really exist very much anymore. You know, it's it's, it's more so combos now because everybody is um, is running zone concepts to some degree, right? So take a look at your center and right guard. If this was a true double team, they both would be blocking Don Tari to the whistle. However, it's not that. The center and the right guard are blocking Don Tari to Luke Keekley. You know what I mean? So that means one of them is responsible for a linebacker, and it just happens to be the center in this scenario. So what we get is this combo, boom, both guys coming off the ball. So it's two versus one right now. And this is the predicament that I really, really like how Dontari puts the offense in, right? Because now you're in a situation where, okay, we got to stay on Dontari, and Luke Keekley runs free, or we got to block Luke Keekley. But my ass is one on one with Dontari now. You see what I mean? So if I continue to run this film a little bit forward, we see the center come off to go block Luke Keekley. And the center did the right thing. But boy, now your guard is on an island with big ass, strong ass, two, 350 pound ass Dontari Poe, right? And he's just kind of going to carry the carry the right guard along with him right and whenever you get done Tari Poe in these one-on-one -on -one situations which is probably why he played a little bit of three tech when you get him in these one-on-one -on -one situations he just kind of smokes these people man and here's another right we got Dontari Poe in a gap here left guard and center are going to combo him to Luke Keekley. hey and Luke Keekley for for them would be like Jalen Smith for us you know what I mean or just depending on where he lines up it could be Sean Lee or Van Der Esch for us but regardless of that we want our linebackers to run free right i'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about linebacker nuance later but uh keeping linebackers clean same process here right boom 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 we're gonna start off with our combo luke luke is in the gap ready to light something up oh well 53 gotta come off and block luke all right now you one-on-one -on -one with a real gangster i gotta come off the ball and i gotta do what i gotta do in this one-on-one -on -one situation here right that's just that's just another example Here's an example of Dontari Poe at three tech versus the run. Now, I, you know, I don't see him playing a whole bunch of three tech, but like I said, man, you never know uh, what's going to happen, right? Sometimes they'll, they'll have one of these weird little formations here. I don't think Dallas is going to do a whole bunch of this, but then again, I don't know what the hell Dallas is going to do because we got a brand new DC. But this is something that Carolina did, did, uh, did sometimes. They'll just put two threes out there and they'll just kind of run their two three sets. But hey, same thing. If they're going to be pulling on the other side, somebody's going to try to uh you know try to you know log you to keep you outside away from the pool and but at the end of the day you just a one-on-one -on -one guy versus Dontari Poe right so movement boom pay attention to this next part because it's going to be very important so my biggest play with these one techs is how they work within, you know, or work versus modern offenses, right? Everything's so fast nowadays, these jet sweeps, tosses, bubbles, jailbreak screens, um, everything's going to the outside. And Dontari Poe can move for a one tech, 
that's cool. But he'll never be the running back in a foot race, right? So let's just run this play, and I'm gonna come back. I'm just gonna talk about it a little bit, right? He'll never, he'll never be the one tech in a foot race. And I know he made this play, but he didn't make it by himself, okay? Everybody just kinda hang with me for a minute. He didn't make it by himself. And you know, we always talk about these one techs keeping linebackers clean. Well, the defense as a whole, a linebacker, safety, a cornerback sometimes, right? It's also their job to keep the one techs clean, to keep the one techs in the game, in the fight. Let me explain. Um, so, boom, we got this little uh, sweep to the outside, of course. That's uh, Jalen Samuel, I'm assuming. Uh, we want to get him to the outside. Dontari Poe is fast, but he can't get there. He's fast for 350, but he can't get there. So what we got to do is take a look at 58 right here. And this is what the Cowboys are going to have to do. Um, and I don't know if this is going to be Sean Lee for us or Joe Thomas or, you know, wherever we line up, Vanderish. I don't know who this is going to be necessarily. But boom, 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 get to the outside. We need to keep these edges captured. Even even for like a defensive end like, like D-Law, keep these edges captured bent because if Samuel was able to get to the outside it was ball game but we captured the edge here we being Carolina we captured the edge here and it slowed down the running back and it forced the running back back into this buzzsaw of fat people <laughs> led by Dontari Poe you see what I mean that's what I mean by he can't make this play by himself boom 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 get to the outside cut it back help us out let me show you another example of that how about this play versus the Titans here? Dontari Poe is going to be a one tech. I'm going to play it. Then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it just a little bit. Dontari making the play right there. So we had three different guys cutting the, um, um, cutting off the lane there, right? Derrick Henry is going to try to get to the outside, but we have a outside linebacker here. We got a db up here we got luke keekley right here just cutting everything back inside now of course if you go to the outside he makes a play you go this gap he makes a play if you go this gap luke makes a play but if they're not making a play they're simply just cutting everything back one time and that's basically what inside zone is you kind of find the gap that works for you and you just kind of hit that gap right like that's what the that's what the whole the whole job is that's what the notion of it is right well derrick henry can't go super front side because he got three defenders um setting his edge on him so he's gonna have to run back <laughs> into that buzzsaw of fat children and their and their and their greasy fingers Dontari poe to make the play here so that's 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 what i mean by not only is Dontari keeping the defense clean but we need everybody to help him stay in the plays as well you see what i mean I like fat boy effort plays, so let's just watch Don Tari Poe right here. And you know what? This is another example, right, of what I mean by if everything gets to the outside and it's bad for you. Like, I understand Don Tari made this play, but boy, what other one tech making this play? <laughs> what other one tech is making this play? But, um, hey, man, Cowboys like effort. And I know Cowboy fans have been acclimated to that, to that coaching style as well, man. Keep running, keep moving, man. And I, I just wanted to highlight this big boy effort play right here, man. Just staying in there but what help them get there though what help them get there <laughs> we needed somebody to come up play defense and slow them down a little bit so that remains true let's talk about some pass rush though so i know i said earlier that Dontari poe ran his 4-9 at the combine that was a long time ago uh and he is a hair faster than normal uh one text but I, he, he's not gonna he's not gonna beat you with um, quickness and speed like you may see a little burst of it every now and then but uh he's mostly gonna beat you just pushing the pocket right um he's in b gap right now so he won because he was in his one-on-one -on -one block situation versus uh 77 he just couldn't hang in there with him um but it's gonna be a lot of this man it's gonna be a lot of pocket pushing gonna be a lot of power uh he's gonna stumble into a lot of sacks like i said man i wouldn't count on him to give me a whole bunch of sacks take a look at him lined up uh shading the zero here i wouldn't count on him to count on him to give me a whole bunch of sacks but do you get an upgrade in pass rush from the one tech position absolutely we'll talk about that a little bit later but um, but you know, just him being able to move him, being able to, um, deal with these one-on-one -on -one blocks, man. I think that's where he's, 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 uh, going to thrive more than anything. Take a look at this. This, this, this was, this was, this was pretty fantastic here. Don Tari Poe lined up at one tech. I'm going to show the play, come back and talk about it. Cause y'all hate when I talk about it without showing the play. You should have watched the game the first time. Get off my back. Goofy ass. Anyway, Don Tari Poe is going to come off the ball and the center never really engages with him, right? Like he's going to get those hands relatively inside, but Don Tari quick with the hands, get them things, get your Titan ass off of me. Right. But then look at him, right? We see this, uh, this left guard, try to get a hand on him just to kind of get a feel 
feel and that's only the that's the only reason why this 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 right hand is just kind of hanging out there just to get a feel in case i need to come back over and help the center but before he can come over and help the center dantari swimming over the top of him hand quickness man quick hands quick hands boom 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 one more time if you don't want to see this one more time you don't love football but boom boom quick over the top ah <laughs> then he sacks uh who is it 17 Tannehill. so he sacks Tannehill on the back end of this thing great play this is what I meant earlier when I said he'll just be active in the play long enough. He'll just stumble into a sack. Um, he's lined up at a four uh, right now, and I hate that they got him lined up so wide out here over this tackle here, but whatever. He's at the four, and this is what I mean by he'll stumble into a sack, right? <laughs> Like he's not really giving you that much on the on the early portion of the pass rush, but if he, he he just keeps hanging in there, right? And I think a lot of his sacks are gonna be just him hanging in there. Um, he's a quicker guy, so I don't want people to just think that he's gonna you know come in and uh, save us via pass rush from the one tech position. I don't want people to think that. Um, but like I said, he 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 is able that if the quarterback holds the ball for a while, assuming that we got good coverage on the back end, and the, and that does happen sometimes. Uh, if the quarterback holds the ball long enough, he'll stumble into it. But then again, I could be bugging. It could just be Jameis holding the ball too long because the same thing happened right here, and he just wandered into the sack. So, hey man, like I said, I don't hate it, but uh, I'm a fan of Dontari Poe, man. Big fan of him. Um, now. You all could choose to leave now that the film is over, but I do got some bonus footage where I'm kind of just taking look, taking a look at numbers and stats and all that. So if you want to see that, uh, hang around. You know, if not, I appreciate you. Hit the like button before you leave. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Wosk. Salute. So what I really like about this is that the Cowboys get to run the combination of Antoine Woods and Dontari Poe. You know, um... You know, I don't think that, you know, Woods is going to be forever benched because I do think Woods can start in the league, right? And a league started coming off the bench to give you some valuable rotation to keep Dontari, um, you know, to keep him healthy, to keep him fresh. I think that's all uh, that's all good for the uh, for the greater product. So Antoine Woods last year had 23 tackles and zero sacks, and I believe this was in 10 games or so. Uh, yeah, you know, Woods uh, was hurt a little bit these games those games so yeah in in 10 games he had 23 tackles and zero sacks Dontari Poe was also hurt last year I think he got hurt towards the end of the year um 12 he missed 10 okay so yeah they missing uh game number seven right there so yeah 11 games 11 games and Dontari Poe had 22 tackles and four sacks over the 11 games what makes it interesting is that four sacks over 11 games um, you know, if he if he'd have played more games, and the same goes for Antoine as well. If if he would have played more games, imagine what that number would have been. So just in that short sample size, I mean, we're just kind of uh, kind of uh, comparing both of the guys there. Woods got his tackles. You know, Dontari also had his. But like we say there, Dontari probably has the advantage in the uh, in the uh, pass rush department. And I like it that that we that we can keep both of them. Man, we're not just benching Antoine Woods. Like he is a starting level defensive tackle. Knows uh, one tech um, in this league or whatever, right? So the fact that we have him and you know he's able to come off the bench and give valuable rotation for us, man, it just makes me feel even better. Um, you know about having Dontari Poe so and you know last year man you know this may not be a direct um like a direct comparison to Dontari and Woods you know because think about this when Woods was on the field and he would have to come off then Christian Covington would have to come in so you would look and see okay how you know is is Dante is Dontari Poe an upgrade over what you would get with Christian Covington I think most people would say yes so uh that's interesting man but hey as long as our linebackers keep them clean I think Don Tari is gonna do uh, is gonna do pretty well on the inside. I don't want y'all to think that he's some top tier gangster. He probably ain't gonna make the Pro Bowl this year. I don't want y'all thinking that. Um, I ain't got the money details or whatever, but I do think he's a valuable player that's gonna come in and play valuable role for play a valuable role for you in conjunction with Brother Woods. 
that's all I got for y'all, man. Um, appreciate y'all. This was the bonus or whatever. I'm gonna probably do a little bit of this for any free agent acquisition that we uh that we run through or whatever. So, um, hey, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Follow me on Twitter, V O C H L O N B A R D I, and don't forget about the Patreon. It's more important than food and water. Y'all hold it down for the Dosky Walsh and the Peace Get Whiskey, man. Peace. <laughs>